our webinar this week, uh, the 10 key phrases you should know in Portuguese with Mia Esmeraj. And, and I think that's the first pronunciation note for me there, Mia. Good evening to you. Olá! Olá, boa tarde. How are you? Tudo bem? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just trying to cope with the Zoom technicalities. But other than <laughs> yes. that, everything's fine. Apologies. Don't um, you worry. Absolutely yeah. fine. Uh, Looking lovely in Porto. This is, so you are in Porto in the north of the country? Today. Yeah, I'm in Porto. So I live here. Um, actually, I'm in Gaia. I don't know if anyone I... knows this, but it's just like on the other side of the river. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so the weather here today, like it was very good and then it changed suddenly. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's been quite stormy, been quite stormy all over Portugal, I think, in the last yeah. 24 hours. Uh, and of course, in Gaia, you have the beautiful view, the iconic view of Porto, right? Yes, people say that that's the best thing in Gaia. It's this, this view here behind me. <laughs> the, be the best thing in Gaia is the view of Porto. Okay. The, best, the best thing in Gaia is the view to Porto, yeah. <laughs> Superb. Okay, and if we may, we'll come back and learn more about you um, after you've done shared your presentation. Let me make you co-host so you can do that. But so uh, you have other fascinating interests, I have to say, uh, that it will be nice to talk about um, if we have time for doing that. So, so just making you co-host now so that you can share your presentation and get that on screen, hopefully not too many more uh, Zoom challenges this evening. Do get the questions into the chat, folks. If anything you want to know about uh, being uh, Portugal ready as far as the lingo goes uh, with Mia. Um, how, how, how are you doing there, Mia? Thank you so much. Oh, nice profit cup of tea. I would just need your help because I've never uh, ever uh, shown the, in Zoom um, oh, I see. Okay. a presentation. If you just can right. quickly tell of course, me. Of course. Yeah. Are you seeing a share button in front of you in green? A share button. Yeah. yeah, down on the bottom. Yeah. Down on the bottom. Ah, okay, though, actually, okay, yeah. okay. I, 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 I see. I, I think your tech support is hovering there, just out of shot as well. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dominic. He's always in yeah. the background helping. That's right. I know. I'm used. To, I'm used to Dominic's reassuring presence uh, when we do the morning radio show. So Dominic, if you do need to step in, that's absolutely fine. Um, but the share button should do it. Okay. Um, I, I, can I start sharing it uh, of course, now? Please do. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if you guys can see this. Can you see it? There we go. Yeah, absolutely. Got it. Um, okay. Just a second. I was just checking. Okay. Um, I also am seeing some people here that are waiting in the waiting room, but you can take care of that, right? Uh, I stopped hearing you. Do you hear me? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I muted myself. That's why you didn't hear me. Um, I, <laughs> okay, don't scare me because I'm already like, what's going on? I want to take this from here. Okay, all right. I've, so... I've, I'm managing the waiting room. I was saying, if, if, if there are people in there, I don't like the look or sound of them. I don't let them in. But that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen very often. So over to you for, for your 10 simple phrases to learn before you visit everybody. Okay, so you okay. can see that, that's great. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. I hope everyone else can see it. So uh, I'm here uh, as, you know, I, I'm collaborating always with these lovely people and uh, they've asked me uh, if I could do a little uh, presentation for people who want to come to Portugal, either to visit or to live here, uh, because, you know, I know that Portuguese is really difficult, <laughs> but you know, everything will be fine if you learn these 10 simple phrases that I have here. Uh, and I put them together and uh, yeah, so I hope that you don't know them so that I can, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, help you somehow. And if you already know them, then well done, but let's see. <laughs> <clears throat> so I, I've decided to uh, introduce some topics, okay? So this first one is greetings and you, uh, you know, you should know them when you come here because that will help you a lot. So the first one is this one here. Olá, como está? Olá, como está? So this literally means hello, how are you? Uh, but as you see, you have como está, and this is the first important lesson in Portuguese because here in Portugal, 
we like to differ differentiate people, <laughs> apparently, because we have sta for the polite form or the formal way of speaking. And if you want it to be less formal, you would say como estás? So estás would be uh, how are you? Como estás would be how are you? But to, when you want to speak, I don't know, to your friends or family or people your own age that you, you know well or, you know, so it's a more informal way. So I have it there uh, written, como estás? Olá, como estás? Okay, so to ask how are you, you can say olá, como está? for formal, or olá, como estás, for informal treatment. So that's the first thing. That's great, Mia. Can I just say there that uh, people, because they're muted, they think they might not be having to say this out loud, but they should be saying this. Yeah, right? <laughs> you, can try, so you can try, you can try. Yes, and we'll test you later. Okay, so yeah, let's, uh, oh, okay. another thing, in every um, slide, you have the pronunciation here at the bottom. Uh, of course, this is not the official IPA, so phonetic alphabet. This is just, I just wrote it in a way that I thought, okay, might make sense to um, people that speak English, for example. So, hola, como, so it's not como or anything like that. It's like como, and then sh, shta, shta. You see that the ES at the beginning of a word if it's not stressed, it's going to become sh, like a sh sound. So the E is almost like if it's not there. Okay. So go ahead and try it if you want. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> I see some lips moving. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's a good sign. Okay. And then if you want to answer, like if someone asks you, right, you don't want to be like, uh, 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 which happens a lot if, we are beginning to learn a language <laughs> or if you go to a country you don't know the language uh, so you can say estou bem obrigado or estou bem obrigada so we kind of uh, switch the o at the end of obrigado for an a and then we say obrigada and so you answer, you can answer the question from before like this to say, I'm fine, thank you. And if it's, if you're a man, then you're going to say obrigado with an O at the end. And if you're a woman, then you say obrigada with an A at the end. Um, in everyday life, actually, Portuguese people get a little confused themselves with this. And you might hear women saying obrigado anyway but i thought it's good for you to know the correct way and to use it if you can okay so again the pronunciation is down here go ahead and try it out estou bem obrigado or estou bem obrigada okay great so the next one is prazer or muito prazer Prazer, muito prazer. So this literally means pleasure or how can I say many pleasure? I don't know how to say this. A lot of pleasure, things like this, something like this. Um, and this is what we say in a more formal meeting. Like if you meet someone and you want to be a little bit more formal, you can say prazer or even more formal, muito prazer. And this is like saying, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. So you, you can use this. I mean, if you just meet a friend of a friend or something like that, you also can use this. So in informal conversations, you can also use it, but somehow, um, I don't know. I think it's more used in formal conversations. Um, so yeah, the pronunciation is also here. Prazer or muito prazer. Okay. And you've so, got to pitch this right, haven't you, Mia? Because, so, you know, sometimes I say to, I, you know, I'm maybe a bit sort of exaggerated and over the top. And I do prefer to say muito prazer rather than prazer. 
And mm -hmm. some people look at me like, you know, okay, easy. We've only just met sort of thing. <laughs> what, 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 what's the right calibration on that? Well, I don't know. I think it depends on the person. I mean, that's the thing. I think some people think that muito prazer, it's so formal, you know, like, uh, I don't know. I, I do okay. think that muito prazer sounds more formal than just prazer, you know, because like when you just say prazer, okay. it's more like, yeah, I don't know. It's more informal. Uh, if it's muito prazer, I, 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 I think maybe therefore you get these looks because it does sound a little bit too formal um but yeah it's also okay to say it i mean you're not uh being rude or anything on the other hand on the, the opposite you know like so yeah so okay so let's move on to the next one so obviously this one is a thing that portuguese people really love to say um i don't know it's when you arrive to some place or you know even just in your own house you if you meet the person for the first time uh, that day you know like you say bon dia bon dia you know so this you're gonna hear a lot you can have a mix between uh, hola and bon dia and then you will hear hola bon dia um carl says this a lot hola bon dia portugal <laughs> which is very well done um, and you use this as a uh, good day or as good morning. So both are fine, which means that you will use this in the morning, you know, to say good morning, but also throughout the day, you can still use it, even if it's not morning anymore. So if it's just, if you just want to say good day, you know, so I don't know if this, you can... Like, if you understand this, because you have two different uh, words, right? Good day and good morning. But for us, bon dia is for both. And uh, yeah, so, and you can use this with everyone. Uh, that's, that's okay. There's a pronunciation. I have there like bong. It's not really bong, but you know, when we have an M at the end of a word, um, this M is going to be a bit transformed into a nasal sound, like it is a nasal sound. So it will sound more like an N, but not a complete N. So it's like uh, you go halfway to make an N, but you stop. So it, you do like boom. You see the lips never touch. So it's kind of like between an M and an N. So I put a G there because it's like, if you imagine you're going to say bong, right? This is how it would sound, but you don't actually pronounce the G. So you're, you're just going to go towards there, but you don't really say it. So it's like bong, you know, and the air flows through your nose. So this is a good tip because there's lots of words ending in M in Portuguese and you're going to need this. And you don't want to be saying bom, bom, um, although it's fine, we will understand. Um, but yeah, if you want to sound more accurate, then you'll try bom, okay? Uh, go ahead and try it if you want. Bom dia. Yeah. And, and that's, I mean, foreigners really differentiate themselves, don't they, by using the M sound. So that's one, that's one like you say, that definitely to avoid using, using the M sound, even though that's how it's spelled. Yeah, exactly. It's very confusing. I can yeah. understand. <laughs> yeah, so you have to kind of trick your brain because your brain learned all through its life that an M is an M. And then you come to Portugal and people are not reading their Ms at the end of words. Uh, the ones at the beginning of words are a normal M. So my name is Mia or Mariana. Um, but if the M is at the end of the word, then... There's a little bit of uh, a little bit of gymnastics to do there. <laughs> okay, so the next one, the next greeting is boa tarde, boa tarde, boa tarde. That's in the afternoon. You use this in the afternoon to say good afternoon. And uh, one thing I put in here in Portugal, the afternoon, we consider it goes from around. One, I even put 1.30, but I think it's like around 1, 12.30. Uh, 
until 7.30 or 8 p.m. So that's still tarde for us, okay? So imagine you meet someone at 7.30 in the afternoon or in the evening, right? And I, I know that in other countries, like after five or six or something, it's already considered more like evening. Uh, for us, it's still afternoon. <laughs> I guess it's a cultural thing. Uh, so I would still say what are the, even if it's 7.30, okay? Uh, there's a pronunciation. Again, another good tip for this pronunciation because if you see the E at the end in tarde almost disappears. And this is because um, the E at the end of words, they are many times uh, almost silent. So very reduced. So I say, what are, does it, I hope it's, you can hear it, like, or not hear it, <laughs> what are, yeah? So yeah, you should know that as well. And then finally, we have, boa noite, boa noite, boa noite. Okay, and then we use this for both good evening, and good night. I had trouble with this when I was lear first learning English because <laughs> I would say good night even if it was just good evening. So imagine it was after 8.30 p.m. and I would say good night and people were like, are you going to bed? I'm like, no, no, it's one night, you know, it's good night. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's because in Portuguese we only have one way of saying both good evening and good night. So we will use it from 8 p.m. onwards, not 20 p.m. I, I made a mistake. So 8 p.m. onwards and also before going to bed. So just before you turn the light off, you can say good night, like one night. OK. And the pronunciation again is there and the E at the end of night is kind of gone. One night. Yeah. You can go ahead and try it. <laughs> I hope everybody Nights, is. You can really. see Sorry? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I hope everybody is doing that. Let us know. Make sure that you are doing that at home. And maybe you can do that this evening. Um, yeah, and if, yeah. if you want to remember this further, you know, tonight, instead of saying goodnight, you can, or whatever in your language, um, you can just say it in Portuguese and try to remember it. Boa noite. Yeah. Boa noite. Perfect. Okay, so that were the greetings I wanted to share with you. And now I want to share, this is a very nice picture I find. I didn't take it, but it's really nice. Um, it's from Douro Valley. It's one of my favorite regions in the world uh, here in the north, but that's uh, just a, you know, an extra. But so being polite is very important for Portuguese people, uh, I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah, we like being nice. And uh, so I think you should know some words related to this. So I have first here, se faz favor or por favor. Uh, I guess it's easier to say por favor, and that's totally fine. So if you want to just know one of them, and you find one easier than the other, that's fine because they both mean the same. They mean please. Uh, so yeah, I think if you ask for some favor or you know, in everyday life, it's really nice to use this. Se faz favor or por favor, okay? And you can also say it when you want to get someone's attention. For example, you're sitting at the cafe and you want to get the waiter's attention. You can also say, se faz favor, or por favor, you know, just like kind of getting uh, the attention of the waiter or the waiter, waitress, uh, so, or of anyone else's, you know, you, if you don't know the name of the person and you just want to call the person, you can say, oh, tchkulp, tchkulp is something else, it's another one, I think that Carl knows this one, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I say that so many times every day. But I, yeah, I think, so um, I think um, you were making a face like, isn't it the school? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Was I reading you right? I will speak about that one later. But you Excellent. can also say, uh, por favor, por favor. Okay. So yeah, 
And there's the pronunciation, s, fash. So you see that the z at the end or a z at the end is gonna be transformed into a sh sound. So uh, if you're just learning about the Portuguese language today here, you're gonna see we love the sh sound. <laughs> <laughs> and this is another um, instance where we transform a letter into a sh sound. Se faz favor or por favor. Okay? Don't forget to try it. <laughs> okay? And this is the one I was just saying, desculpe. So desculpe means I'm sorry. If you want to just say sorry to someone, you can say desculpe, and again, this with an E at the end, in this sense, it's going to be the polite or formal form. If you're just uh, saying sorry to your friends or relative, close relative, you say, or you can say desculpe with an A at the end, and that's the informal treatment, okay? Um but since probably if you're just coming to visit, you don't know a lot of people here, you know, and so they are going to be strangers. Um, or if you just first arriving to Portugal and you want to be more formal, then you should use this one. And as I was saying before, this can be used to say I'm sorry. It can also be used to uh, call someone's attention. So again, if you're sitting at a cafe or, and you know you see the waiter and you want to call for the attention, you say "scoop, scoop." <laughs> okay. So uh, you can also match it with "ol," which is like "look." "Ol scoop." Oh. So that's like "look, uh, excuse me," something like that. Okay. And uh, the pronunciation is, as you can see there. It's almost like we get the D, the E, and the S, and we put them all together. Um, so I would even maybe take that E there because it's just literally like ch, 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 kulp. Okay. Uh, all right. Before you go, before you move on, was that Sintra? Oh, uh, yeah. This is yeah. Palacio da Pena in Sintra. Beautiful. Yeah. So near Lisbon for those who are more in the south or who are planning to go more to the south, definitely visit Sintra. It's really great, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so another polite thing to say is con licença. Con licença. So this also means excuse me, but more in the way um, of, you know, when you want to go in some room, you knock the door and you say, com licença. Or if you, you know, have to pass in between two people that are speaking, uh, you also say, uh, com licença. And then you go through, you know, it's just like, excuse me, but not in the way of calling someone, you know, but it's more of, excuse me, I need to pass or excuse me, uh, may I enter the room, something like this. Okay. And again, you have there the weird M at the end that becomes a con, con, licença. Okay, we have there also a kind of a nasal sound in licença. You see this N. So N also, if it's like in the middle, uh, can also become very nasal. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to say this, these words again. So it's con licença. Com licença. Okay. You can see in this picture a bit of the nice azulejos. You know what's azulejos? The, the, the tiles, the, the blue tiles that are very typical in Portugal. Okay. It comes, the name azulejos comes from azul, which means blue. So Okay, and we, you can see azulejos all over Portugal. It's very nice. Uh, here, I didn't put obrigado or obrigada, which is also a polite thing to say, right? Because I already spoke about it at the beginning. Uh, but if you want, if someone says thank you to you and you want to say you're welcome, you can use this. 
De nada. De nada. De nada. So this literally means of nothing, which I think it's kind of like it's nothing. You know, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. So de nada. Okay. And um, the A at the end, I put there as an E. It's more like because it's a closed A, it's not nada. It's nada. Okay, so you have to pay attention also to these A's at the end of words because many times they are a bit closed. Okay, the first A is open because you have the stress of the word there, na. And then the second one is closed. Okay, nada, de nada. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, and then I also put some sentences or phrases together uh, for you to speak about yourself when you first come here to say some things about yourself. So, chamo-me or o meu nome é or so u or so a. Uh. So, chamo-me is literally I'm called. So these three ways, these are three ways of saying who you are or what you are called, right? So chamo-me is literally I'm called. So I can say chamo-me Mia. Uh, I can also say o meu nome é Mia. So my name is Mia, literally. Or I can simply say so a uh, Mia. I am the Mia. <laughs> so in this case, we have to use the article U or A. Uh. So, U is for men and A uh, is for women. So, since I'm a girl, right, a woman, let's say, I say, so, a uh, Mia. If Carl wants to say, how would you say, Carl? Do you have a, do you want to try? Um, uh, so, U, uh, Carl. Exato, exatamente. Very, very. And, and, and I like yeah. that. I mean, I am the Carl. Yeah, exactly. That, I mean, that's pretty special, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I am the Mia. <laughs> yes, so exactly. I am the Carl. So, but in the other two, in Shemum and o meu nome é, we don't use the article. We just say Shemum Mia, o meu nome é Mia. So I'm not saying Shemum a Mia or o meu nome é a Mia. I don't say that. Okay. So bear that in mind. So again, I'm going to say it again. You have the pronunciation there. Shemum Mia. Or, o meu nome é Mia, or even, so a Mia. Okay, and Carl said, again. So, o Carl. Exactly. Okay. So, that's uh, for when you introduce yourself. This one I also put here, like, if you're still learning Portuguese, maybe you still don't know how to speak Portuguese. And if someone comes to you and starts speaking, speaking, you can say, Desculpe, não falo português. Desculpe, não falo português. So this literally means, I'm sorry, I don't speak Portuguese. Okay. Um, so this can be handy. If you're in a situation that the other person doesn't speak English and you don't speak Portuguese, at least you know how to tell them, I don't speak Portuguese. And they will try to find a way to go around it, I guess. But so, desculpe, não falo português. So hopefully, if you learn Portuguese, if you can come learn with me or with any other resource, then um, this will not be true anymore after a while, I hope. <laughs> So you have the pronunciation there, Tchkulp, you already saw this before. Noun, that's again another nasal tricky sound, the A-O with a tilt on top of the A. This is like noun. Again, you're not closing completely the lips. You're just letting the air flow through your nose. Noun. Noun, falo português. Okay. Desculpe, não falo português. Okay. And the next one, this here, do you know this picture, Carl? I, I'm thinking that is um, just north of Aveiro. Is yeah. It, 
Barra and the other, there are two places. Costa Nova, I Costa guess. Costa Nova, yeah, but, uh, yes, Costa These Nova. These are really nice, these houses. They are very typical. Um, yeah. yeah, it's and also you, nice to see. And that's where you'd be eating your ovoshmolosh as well. There, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then if you want to say, um, what's your nationality? You're going to use the verb to be and say, so. So is simply I am. You can also say, eu sou. But in Portuguese, many times you can omit the person. So you can just simply say, so. So English, I am English. So alemão, I am German. So espanhol, I am Spanish. So americano, we say it for North American for some reason. We say it like this, so americano, okay? I'm American, North American. So this is if you want to say what nationality you are. And the pronunciation is there. So English, the S at the end also becomes a SHU sound. So English. So alemão, again, this weird sound. So espanhol, espanhol, because the ES at the beginning becomes a SHU sound as well. Okay, uh, and if you're learning Portuguese, you can say eu estou a aprender português or simply estou a aprender português. As you see, we can hide the subject, okay, in many instances. Um, so that's if you want to impress Portuguese people <laughs> to say that you're learning, you can say this and you have the pronunciation there. Eu estou a aprender português. Or faster, estou a aprender português. Okay? Uh, the A is there. A aprender. When you say it fast, these two A's together will open and it will almost just sound as one sound, but a more open sound. So we say estou a aprender. But don't worry too much about this, okay? Um, you will learn this with time. <laughs> That's okay. very reassuring. Very reassuring. <laughs> These are some pictures that I put here from, uh, you know, different places. There's Aveiro there. I think that one there is uh, Lisbon. I think so, I yeah. Think. yeah. And there is a boat with a Portuguese flag just to be a little bit nationalist <laughs> no we we actually we do, we're not i was thinking about this here in portugal we're not very used to put flags around right really it seems to me uh, the portuguese people are very patriotic and very you happy think? to display yeah absolutely maybe and i love they, it maybe then it's just here in porto i don't know here i don't oh, i don't know i remember yeah. in other countries i saw like people putting in their houses flags you know in front of the house and things sure. like that and here I don't see that so often. Oh, Maybe okay. it's a city thing. Maybe in the countryside there's more. Certainly, yeah. Um, and in central Portugal you see it for, for yeah. sure. Yeah, but yeah, no, no, I, I would definitely have uh, Portugal as very, very patriotic and proud place uh, with, with the flag and the culture. No, we like, yeah, we are, this is definitely, we are very patriotic, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I just meant with the flags that mm. I, here I don't see it so much, but... Mm. Okay, so I have here some links. Uh, this was my uh, mini presentation about things you should learn before coming to visit or to live in Portugal. There are many more things, but of course I can't co cover everything here. But if you want to know more, you can check this post here. Let me see if it opens just that I can um, Very good. show you. Oh. So, because course, I have... My yeah, people, can, people, people can find you in our business directory as well. I think Jerry's put the link for that in there, but so uh, let's see if that's working that link there. Okay, Thank I can you. also send you, and if you want, and you can put it in the um, in the chat if you want. Is this working? Yeah, or... perfect. Pop it in the chat. That'd be great. And um, um, we can mention it again. Uh, we're in an intensive, aren't we, Mia? In the, in this twenty four hours, you'll be on the Good Morning Portugal show in the morning. So any yeah. unfinished any unfinished business and links we can share in the morning as well. So anyway, yeah, here is uh, one of the, the posts from my blog post. And as you can see, I took some of these things from here. But you I'm not actually seeing oh. that. 
I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not seeing. I'm just seeing uh, a blank, okay, a blank okay. a minimalist. Uh, I know screen. why. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Again, so nice these technical things that I. You're don't doing know. great. You do. I mean, I I struggle with with um, sharing things on Zoom, as many people here will know. Um, uh, so, so you're absolutely fine. And you have an Instagram account as well as well as a YouTube uh, channel as well, don't you? Uh, so clear, Mia says Rhoda. I'm going to learn with you now. So that's that's been fantastic this evening, but it's not over yet. I wonder if we can can we see your um, post, your video? Uh, wait, I'm still trying to to go back. <laughs> that's okay, no problem. And um, while you're doing that, I okay, will, I'll, I, I'll... I I pasted the link in the. Um, oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. In the that's thing. Great. Yeah. I just wanted to go back to the the presentation, and now I'm stuck somewhere. <laughs> Well, it's, yes, this is um, a very snowy Porto or the Serra de Estrela Mountains, snow capped Serra de Estrela Mountain picture uh, with fresh snowfall, perhaps. But um, yeah. it's okay. We can we can share those. We can share those later on, Mia, or or, or in the morning because I'm not. Yeah, the, the problem is, how do I go back? It's a ah, okay, 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 okay. I'm here. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. Don't worry. Seriously, I know it's fine. why it weren't. Uh, seeing it um it's because i only shared my presentation right, so okay. anyway uh i i will i will put both in the in the um, comments yes so i'll put the because i also have a video about this topic yeah well many we should say shouldn't we i mean you're a prolific sharer <laughs> um, and, and there's a there's a lot of entry level stuff and, 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 and elaborate presentations from from mia uh, that you can find on Instagram and, and on YouTube. So you, I think you're very generous with what, what you give away to people. Um, and then, yeah. of course, if people want to get serious, they can do that and enroll with you. And we recommend people do that. Uh, through Thank our business, you. Business directory. Absolutely. It's been, it's so, been, it's been lovely. Yeah, I've posted both links on the chat. Sorry that mm. I can't show it here, but you can go there after and, and check it out. So that's maybe even better. Yeah. Um, and yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want. <laughs> Because I'm posting Super. every week, I'm posting new things. Okay. Um, and then, uh, do you see my presentation still? Yes. Right? No, I've, I've taken it off because I thought we were done there. I do beg your pardon. Uh, no, I still wanted to share two oh, more things. My, but... my bad. My bad. No, go on. You, you, you take back control. As, um, I think, as I think people in the UK are saying at the moment. Okay. Let's see if I can do that. Uh Oh, and Kent is saying as well that you have a community forum for your students as well. So all sorts of um, wonderful offerings. Uh, Wolfgang, good evening to you and Victoria. Um, I say that you, the, the words blend into... I thought you were saying the worlds blend into each other of Instagram and YouTube, but it seems like all the words blend into each other. Uh, thank you. And I've heard that expressed as how Portuguese people love eating so much. They even eat their words as well. Um, yes. Okay. You... I think you might have said that to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> do you see it now absolutely we got okay it. so yeah. back on track um also i wanted to share um if you want to learn even further because you know on youtube it's it's nice but then maybe sometimes it gets too overwhelming i put this free course together this is a kickstarter a kickstart your portuguese the basics it's a free online course so you can just um go and join and i put here Check chat for the link because Carl, uh, you have to put your the link there yeah. for the Kickstart. Kickstart, and um, then I also wanted to show just one more. Okay. Yeah, of um, course. So, the floor is yours. <laughs> so I wanted to invite you also to check my free webinar. Um, you know, because there you can. It's also for free. You're not obliged to buy anything at the end. I do make an offer for my all-in-one Portuguese course at the end, so I want to be transparent. Um, but you can take things from the webinar by itself. So you don't need to buy anything to learn something. Um, but at the end, if you're interested, I have this all-in-one Portuguese course. You have a lifetime membership, 30 days money-back guarantee. And I tell you all about it in this webinar as well. Um, so again, Carl, the, if you can put then the link um, for my school and, you know, where the webinar is, you can just check it out and decide this is my 
signature course and I would recommend you to do this Fantastic. if you would like to become fluent in Portuguese, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm hoping Astrid will be able to provide those links uh, for us um, and, and uh, to uh, celebrate our association with you uh, and, and lead people, as you say, to fluency um, in, in Portuguese. Oh, there we go, where are you there? Yeah, this is Ponte de Lima. Okay. It's in the north of Portugal. And I'm here with my dog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my dog is Nala. A lot of people already know her. She shows up in some of my videos and so <laughs> on. And yeah, so here we were in a, like a, just a day trip. It's not far from Porto. And it's also very, very beautiful there. So if you're in the north of Portugal, make sure to visit Ponte de Lima as well. Perfect. Yeah. And, and I, yeah, I say... A taste of the north. Yeah, exactly. And the north has very beautiful places too. So I say obrigada a todos. And that's my name there. And now Q&A. <laughs> Fantastic. Me. I'm so sorry I shut that presentation off too soon. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, my, my, it's my, okay. My, my bad with that. My bad with that. Um, so is it okay to do so now? And, yeah, um, now it's okay. okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, 15% off. Uh, for premium members as well so the, the offers just get better and better um some of you, you some of your students are here tonight and they can't get enough of you and uh, they they wanted to learn and it is about i mean it does help to to, to immerse yourself doesn't it and, and repetition is really important when learning a language i guess if that's your particular learning style um we may talk about that tonight but let's take in a few comments that have been coming in um this evening thank you everybody um all around the world and thank you for sharing all your milestones um, and your countdowns and, and, and the things that are making it uh, easier and, and nearer to, to be in Portugal. So I appreciate all of that and all of your comments that have been coming in um, this evening. Um, slight tangent, but what are proper table manners in Portugal, Karen and Bob are asking. Uh, don't want to be a lump, they say. So um, you were saying the Portuguese people were like, I mean, yeah, we can take a few culture questions here, can't we? Uh, people, Portuguese people like to be polite, and I just completely agree with that in my experience of Portuguese people. Um, table manners, that, I um, guess it extends to the table manners as well, right? Yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, at the table is more like body language than any other thing. Oh, <laughs> So don't, don't eat with your mouth open. Mm. Um, don't eat with your hands kind, kind of down, <laughs> you know, oh, okay. like with one, one, one hand on your lap is a no go. Oh, because, is that right? Yeah. Like if you want to be, you know, of course, if you're in a very informal setting, then maybe it's okay. But mm. you know, in my, at, at least in my house, uh, my mom always said, put your, put your hand back on the table. <laughs> Or my wow. partner. It's not, okay. it's not nice. It's like you're expected to have both hands on the table, you know, like your wrists, also not your elbows on the table. Never. Like no, this okay. is no good. No, okay. I have a tendency to be like this. <laughs> really? And then until your mum sees it and tells you. Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> well, now I live alone with Dominic and he has worse manners than I <laughs> <laughs> Oh. no that's not true uh, but yeah I you know I'm more like at ease but uh, no I don't think that's considered uh, nice and also parents will always tell their children don't sing at the table singing really? is not allowed at the table well I never okay so, so some interesting things there Karen and Bob um, keep your hands where we can see them uh, no elbows obviously that's quite international global I think, yeah and no singing Karen and Bob um, which we know probably quite a few um, British people like to do at meal, <laughs> meal times in the Algarve, right? So stop it, you lot. But um, obviously this isn't a more more formal or like, yeah, yeah, more, okay. you know, if you're yeah. with your friends, uh, no one cares, singing. probably. Okay, well, John, John's here, John, John Lee, uh, here from Ireland. He probably does like to sing at the table. Um, hello all, I am now retired in the Algarve trying to learn Portuguese. I uh, hope that's been useful to you tonight. Um, so we say, obrigado, obrigada based on our gender, not on the gender of the person to whom we are speaking. Beautifully put, Terrell. Uh, OMG, I've had, <laughs> look at this. And, I, and I had, I've had this coming up tonight, is I've been saying something's wrong, I think, for four years now. Um, so I need to go around and scoopering quite a lot tomorrow, possibly. But um, Terrell says, OMG, I've had that wrong for a while. Mm. Um, how, how do you think that will be received then if she, she's been thinking, okay, it's, it's a guy, so I say, oh, regardless. Um... You know, if you're a guy, 
and you're saying obrigada maybe there will be um Very even clever. stranger than the other way around yeah. but as i said you know a lot of portuguese people don't know how to say that <laughs> right okay. so we kind of use them interchangeably so it's not like a super bad mistake so i guess it's probably all right okay. you know all right. uh, I, but I, if yeah. you want to be really correct then it's like that you have to uh, care for your gender not that of the other person interesting you, uh, the origins you know of that I must mean. be fascinating as well yeah absolutely um till what time of day so you covered the bon dia portal and bon night as well um brilliantly thank you for that um but if you say it in the afternoon it is not bad and this is this is the thing isn't it i mean i think so many mistakes people made make are made good by the fact that you're trying at all it goes a long way doesn't yeah, it think, yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. to make the effort right what, 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 if, what would you yeah go yeah on. if you see my webinar that's one of the main topics there because okay. i think a lot of people get stuck adults uh get stuck on this thought that oh my god i probably will make a lot of mistakes i better not speak at all yeah. until i have everything right and i know how that is because I'm also a bit like that and I need to kind of go against it because making mistakes is the best thing you can do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if you are making mistakes, that means you are trying. And if you are trying, you're already halfway there, mm-hmm. you know? So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I realized, you know, my, my confession is that fash favor i've been saying fash favor instead of svash favor and i've been missing that s and i didn't even know i should have been doing that for the last but that's four okay years. carl oh, okay. It's, it's also okay feel, that's I that's feel, kind of a, the short way for svash favor thank goodness for that we say okay, fash feel, favor it's totally fine oh good so. i feel officially pardoned thank you for that uh, Je- Je- jeff was jeff was um, d- doing it at home and, and doing the pronunciation yes but my cats are looking at me funny or giving me funny looks. Uh, nothing wrong with that, Jeff. Cats always do that anyway, don't they? Um, that's what cats do, give you funny looks. And at that point, I can ask you, I mean, you, you, you're an amazing person outside of the uh, uh, teaching Portuguese. You are also, um, I made the mistake of calling you a cat lady this morning. It's probably not, not the right way of putting it, is it? But, but you're somebody who's very concerned about the welfare of the cats <laughs> in your neighbourhood. And you've, you, you, it's turned into a bit of a project on a bit of a side note. What, what yeah. can you tell us about that? We are now down to, it's, there is one cat missing to be sterilized or neutered. I don't know, know. neutered. Yeah. Uh, it's a mama cat and there's five kittens that need to become a bit older and then they can also be neutered. Um, but the others are already all fixed. And uh, yeah, because it was really a, a big problem here in my neighborhood, but also around Portugal, sure, um, sure. animal welfare is not, um, that's, that's the downside of Portugal, if I can say this. Mm. It's a lovely country, lovely people, I guess. That's my opinion. Sorry, if I'm biased. <laughs> um, and if you have other opinions, it's also fine. But in my opinion, I think that, but then the animal welfare, we are getting better, but um, you know, animals need your help here as well. So I, I don't know. It's something I, I take to the heart because obviously I love animals and uh, I'm trying to do my part. Uh, it's needed a lot of money. <laughs> I've had some help from, from people and that was awesome. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's very difficult for private you know, people, let's say, Um, individuals, yeah, individuals to to do that. But the thing is, the the city halls and so on, they don't have a lot of money to or they don't give a lot of money to these causes. And then, you know, I'm just trying to do my part. Well, you certainly are. I was very impressed to hear about that. It sounds Thank like it's you. going very well. Um, the E at the end of uh, so it's Portard, uh, I'm feeling I'm, I feel I'm hearing, says Terrell. Um, Mia use both even in formal settings. Now, after a little while, you do hear people, some Portuguese people, particularly men, older men, singing words when they speak. You know, so like in, in the mornings, when I'm out and about, I love it when, when a, an older man says, yeah and really goes with a flourish with a flourish oh, on it. And, uh, yeah <laughs> and i'm like yeah bon dia to you as well good sir it's, you know it's, it's lovely to, to have that experience uh, but also the same seems to be true of the tarde. 
you know, they, 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 they it, it, officially it shouldn't be in there necessarily, but some people like to play with the words and be a bit poetic. Is that what's going on? I don't know. I think it's just the way that we um, express our emotions somehow. Uh, ah. Portuguese people are very emotional people as well. Um, and I guess that's that's why we do that. We like yeah. we like to convey a certain message uh, with the words. I don't know. Um, it's just and also obviously in certain places uh, people sing more when they speak anyway. So the yes. accent also does that, right? Um, it's funny that you say this because my father. Uh, says a lot like in town, <laughs> you know, in <laughs> town. It's like so, or yes. what's up, you know, in town can be a lot of things. Yeah. Um, and funny thing, Dominic, who is German, so he's my boyfriend, he's German, he now picked up on that and he says it exactly the same. <laughs> like <laughs> you are saying it already with a singing voice. So, That's great. you know, it's a Portuguese thing, I guess. So, that sounds wonderful. You know, the, the, the German formality has given way to a sort of Portuguese flourish there. Yeah. And, 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 you know, it's the same with the Ipa, isn't it? And, you know, I'm, I'm hearing as yeah. well as obrigado. I'm hearing, you know, obrigadinho and obrigadissimo. Yeah. And I'm like, people love to play with the words like that. So, so yeah. be ready for that as well, folks, uh, with, with that playfulness that you'll see from the polite and emotional Portuguese people, as Mia has described in it. <laughs> you Nick, know what I mean. Like, I we do, like no, absolutely. To... Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I do. And, and, and we love that. And when you said, you know, people are entitled to their opinions about whether Portuguese people are lovely and the country's lovely, there isn't another opinion on that. The answer is just yes. Um, Nikki yeah. Fairman, thank you. She says, John Lee, thank you. Uh, Terrell as well, Stephen, Lynn, all giving you thanks tonight. Fabulous. Thank you, Mia from Debbie. Cindy B, the phonetic spellings were very helpful to me, she says. Um, and uh, Carl is getting into the habit of shutting down presentations. <laughs> so that, is it a habit? I'm so sorry. Um, agree the phonetic spellings were very He wants helpful. all the attention for himself. You, I'm here. You, you know me so well, Mia. Um, <laughs> that's what, you know, um, I am the Carl, you know, I'm going to be using that now. You're so um, honest, Carl, yeah. <laughs> what about using forks the correct way? Um, so both hands on the table and both pieces of cutlery, especially you American folks, you know what you like with, the, with just using the fork. Yeah, we, we, we use the fork and a knife. Right, okay. It's, uh, yeah, it's like that. Not yes. with soup, though. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, we use the spoon. <laughs> that's, you should have told people tonight that actually Portuguese people even eat soup with a knife and a fork. Uh, yeah, so exactly. Please, should please, eat please, with a fork. Yes, that would please, be do fun. That when, please do that when you eat out. Um, Jeff says, can we have some swear words? No, definitely not. Uh, how rude is he? Um, but maybe there is a video that you do on that. I don't know. I, I um, once already told a swear word in the morning. Show oh, my goodness. That... You, uh, yes, that was. <laughs> yes, that, I, 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 I think I had a few more gray hairs after that. Um, will that, Sorry, will that show present? Not at all. Will that, uh, uh, or not fresh mal, I should say. Not fresh mal. No uh, fresh will, mal. will that short uh, presentation be available for a download or for later study? It'll be part of our video that's on YouTube. Absolutely. And what else did you want to say about that, Mia? Yeah, uh, it can be, I can make it available. Uh, okay. We can speak yeah. about this after. All right, you. super. Can I say, Mia, if, if you send that to me with the links, I'll post it on the forum. Perfect. Okay. And okay. then everybody can access Should I send it now? Right now? Sure. Yeah, yeah. whatever. <laughs> or, or any, uh, but any, where? Topic, you know, where I, to? I, I, I'll, my, Jerry, there at is. that's portugal.com. Jerry at expatsportugal.com. That's Got it? it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can I can try. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Oh, so, so a couple more comments um, before we go to the um, more uh, intimate uh, hands-up Q&A uh, with the members here. Uh, many premium members here tonight. Thank you very much for, for being so, everybody. Um, and they are putting swear words in the chat. Don't do that. Uh, Victoria, we can say como vai, uh, meaning how are you? Um, or is that more common for Brazilian Portuguese? Which we've not talked about at all, the distinction there, have we, between uh, Brazilian and European? So uh, I also have an article about that. Um, and I have a video that has uh, many, many views with a Brazilian teacher on my uh -huh. YouTube channel, Mia Jmeri's Academy. And uh, yeah, there, there are some differences. Uh, como vai 
can also be said in Portugal, but it's not as common. So, como está is more common. Yeah. Okay, very good. That was your um, question, I, right? Sorry, because yeah, I was yeah, at I the same so. time trying to send the stuff to... Send, send Jerry an email. That's <laughs> <laughs> brilliant multitasking. So multitasking. Woo. Yeah, very good. Very good. Um, and um, yeah, thanks from Mark as well. Thank you very much, Mia, Carl, and the team. And maybe we should end it here because um, any slang greetings? Well, I suppose we can have slang goodbyes as well between people. So yeah. people say pie to each other, don't they? Like mate. Uh, mate, mate, uh, yeah. yeah, pa, pa, pa. I beg your pardon. Pa is dad, of P course. A you... with a with an accent. Pa is okay. dad. Yeah, I say pa yeah, to yeah. my father. If you say to other people, I, I, I don't know. Maybe they are okay with that. <laughs> yes, well, or, or maybe not. Okay, so pa <laughs> is a, is a slang thing for mate. Anything else like that? Any colloquialisms that we we might know? There are so many, and again, I have videos and and blog posts about that. Um, mm -hmm. I, know, I don't know, there's like, if you want to say that something is cool, for example, you can use fish. fish. Ah, yes, yes, fish, yes. Uh, and that's, uh, that's like cool, literally. Yes. Um, what else? Um, what about oi? Oi, it's more Brazilian Portuguese. The, okay. Um, oi. Sometimes I use that now. I think like there is a little bit of an influence now from Brazilian Portuguese. Um, and sometimes we say that like, oi, <laughs> when we don't understand <laughs> something. Yes. You know, I say like, oi. <laughs> that means like, what? You know? Yeah. Okay. Um, but um, other than that, there are so many things. It's difficult to to bring them all up here. And I was still trying to send it to Jerry. Jerry, you should have the email now. Uh, not yet, Mia, but I've just sent you yeah. an email. Yeah. It's still Maybe. being transported until uh, there. <laughs> fantastic. All right. So final comment then just from Joe. I have to go early. So thank you very much, Mia. An excellent and clear presentation. Much appreciated. I'm sure others are echoing that. Um, in, in the group here tonight. Thank you so much, uh, Mia, Thank for that. Uh, the links that you need are in the, in the um, well, uh, when you see this on YouTube. Got <laughs> Jerry's got the email, everyone. <laughs> um, the, the links will be on the YouTube video so that, so that you can um, enroll on, uh, on the, the choice of your course with Mia Ismeris, who's been with us tonight. Thank you so much. I hope to uh, see well, you guys there. We, we will end the recording there and go to a more intimate Q&A that is one of the benefits.